You really had many, many, many hours to get this very, very, very right. Complacency in the dance world gets you absolutely nowhere. Tonight on Big Brother, tension on the dance floor. Okay, so we're going to practice it? Oh, God. Because I dance like a pair of white chicks trying to get slick in the ghetto, and I've got nothing. You're really getting annoyed at me, aren't you? Yeah. As celebrity judges Matt and Jason deliver their verdict. You're about as graceful as a double full forward for me. You just looked a little bit embarrassed. Travis completely let go and he absolutely went for it. Last week, Dixie landed the job of washing all the housemates' clothes by hand until further notice. <laughs> Good work, Dix. And she's just about ready to wash her hands of the roll. Dixie. Big brother, I don't know how long I'm going to be able to do this washing thing for because it's put a lot of strain on my back and my, my boobs are so heavy. I don't think I'll be able to do it for much longer. You may need to spread it out over the day. Big Brother, do you know how much each of my boobs weigh? 4.3 kilos, each boob. One, two, 8.6 kilos. That does not exclude you from manual labour, Dixie. Well, if I have to do it for more than two weeks, I think I'll be cruising. I'm not doing it forever. Well, I'm in here. Do you have boobs, big brother? Do you know what it's like to lug all this weight around and be bending over all the time? Is there anything else? No, can you just bring a wheelchair for me? Thank you, Dixie. That is all. Oh, he's so nice. He is very nice. He just gave me a serving. Oh, really? Yep. What'd you do? Nothing. About? Nothing, really. What, what did he give you a serving about? I said, do you know that each of my boobs weigh 4.3 kilos, big brother? He's like, so? Oh, my God, what an asshole. What did he say? Big brother, that's ridiculous. They actually do cause back pain, hence me wanting to get mine cut off. What the hell? This is Big Brother. Bianca to the diary room. I don't care, that's mean. He's gonna cop it and I don't care if I get in trouble. It's a physical disability. Bianca. Big Brother would like to clarify something with you. Big Brother did not say so when Dixie raised the issue about her breast size. Big Brother was misquoted. Thank you. That is all. Bianca, you've been asked to leave the diary room. I understand, but if I leave now, I'm going to get really, really angry. So I just need a second before I go out there because if I don't, I'm going to explode. What happened? I'm not going to talk about it. I'll continue on sleep. No? Thank you. Are you all right, Possum? Yeah, next time you quote Big Bro, make sure you do it correctly. What's your problem, Bianca? The stuff that he, you told me, he didn't say, and that's what he got angry at me for. What did he tell you I didn't say to him? So, 
So what? He did. He said that. Well, apparently not, and that's what I got in trouble for because I went, wow, that's... and called him something. And he's like, well, I didn't even say that, so get your story Well, safe I didn't ask you to go and say anything to anyone. I didn't ask you to call him an arsehole. Hey. Well, if you would have worded crap correctly... I, I didn't ask you to angry. say anything. You didn't need to. Well, what's your problem? Well, what, what'd you go do it for? I didn't ask you to do anything. All I'm asking is that when you quote someone, do it correctly. Well, mind your own business. When you... I didn't ask you to step into my fight. Well, don't bring it up then. Well, I'm in the middle of... Well, don't, don't just put it, take it on your shoulders and think you've got to do, save the world and do everything about it. I, I didn't. didn't. Ask you to do anything. All I did was make a comment about what you said. Well, whatever I say, then don't take it on board. Sweet, so I just won't listen to a word I don't you say. Need your help. This joint. Whoa, relax. 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 Sit. Sit. Oh, tango. Sit. 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 She's angry. Sit. Sit. Come on. She's so flippant. Who's this? Apparently, Dixie. She has no consistent characteristics. She's all over the shop. You gotta chill out, dude. Don't worry about it. I mean, we all know Dixie does 180s, but... All I ask her is please get quotes correct next time because I get for calling him an asshole because I thought that he was being one. And then he told you what then, he really said. Yeah, well, he said I didn't say what she told you at all. You're not in the wrong. She's just a cold-hearted bitch, consistently. That's right. Is she still going on out there, Damo? Mm. What's wrong with Bianca? A psycho. Louder than you, Bridget, when you go off. Thank God, now I'm not the psycho one. Just everything, I'm just over it. Like, this is the first point at which I've actually gone, I seriously hate this and don't want to do it anymore. Bianca, so don't say that unless you actually mean it, because I know you don't. I mean, sure, you brew up a Dixie a bit and then the food's a bit, but that's going to be over tomorrow after the task, yeah? Sometimes we forget she's 18. I just said, obviously, it'd be silly to leave like that. She goes, oh, I'm not going to leave. I just don't like it here at the moment. She'll get over it. Don't worry about dicks. That's not my fault. She, I right. couldn't hold a gun to her head and say, say this. Don't go out there, mate. She's talking about leaving. Leaving? Bianca. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cracks me up. I just walked out and said, grow up. <laughs> Later on Big Brother, a huge surprise for the housemates. Housemates, please welcome So You Think You Can Dance judges, Jason Coleman and Matt Lee. <laughs> Who will win Big Brother 2008? As always, you decide. But this year, you vote for your favourite housemate. And each week, the three least popular are nominated and the housemates evict. To help save your favourite housemate, dial 1902 555 and then for Bridget at 61, for David at 70, for Dixie at 62, or text their name to 191010, for Nathan at 75, for Nobby at 74, for Renee at 63, or text their name to 191010. How nice are you? Alice was the winner of Friday Night Games this week and as part of her prize, she's been told who the bottom three housemates are facing eviction. Um, I'm going to take Nobby in. Yeah. Alice gets to invite one housemate into the strategy room where she can share her secret. Thank you. Oh, it's so nice <laughs> this is Big Brother, Alice and Nobby. The strategy room is now open. Enter immediately. Thanks so much, Al. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, look at him! Oh, we got all different ones. How lucky are we? <laughs> I'm so, I don't think you It's so nice of you to pick me, Al. Because I wouldn't know that. So um, nice. Now, 
Bianca, David, Nathan. Really? Yeah, we've all seen it change, but... Oh, yeah, I know, but... All right. I wouldn't mind, personally, if two of them stayed the way it is. You know, my life wouldn't change if Bianca and Nathan went. You know, like, I love Terry, and people are thinking she's going to get up, but she's part of my house here. Like, I get along Terry? with... Terry? Yeah. Really? Um... Hey! Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, it's cool. Though. I don't know who. Why? Who would you expect to be up? Honestly, hmm. I thought Bridget, because she just sleeps. To me, me I, too. I don't get. I don't understand why she's not yeah. there. You know, but not well. I'm not surprised about Bianca. Bianca? Yeah. Because she doesn't have a spark. She doesn't have a spark. So I think over time, her, her views are always the same. They're always the, mm -hmm. it's 18 year old that wants to change and we just expect what her answer's gonna be now. Mm -hmm. Yes. You're a bum head, I hate you. Renee's cool. Renee's cool, I think she's gonna win it, personally. I don't think, do you know why? Why? Because I'm starting to see a plateau in her personality and all the conversations she has, I've heard before. Mm. Yoga? Yep. And I'm just starting to see, we've seen it. Do you know what I mean? And there's not much more to see. Yoga? Then who Jürgen's going to win? Who do I think is going to win? Um, unfortunately, I think Dixie. Jürgen Dixie's going to yep. win? Because of her Aboriginal backup? You, of all people, will know that I'm not saying this racistly, but yep. she'd have a big following of being oh, Aboriginal. Yeah. I wonder if the three will change. It will. It changes every week. But well, I know, but I just, I just have this gut feeling. That you won't. It, well, I hope Dave I'm being selfish now. Yeah. Travis, swing it around so you get some... Look at his oh. mouth. That's so nice. Thank you so much. I was worried he was going to go, Nobby is not in allowed in this. That was so nice of you. Thanks, people. <laughs> Most yeah. people say my name right in here, which is Bianca. Funny. Bianca. I think it sounds better when you say Bianca. That's probably the only thing I do pronounce right. Excuse me, I have a question for Terry and Rory. Yes. Why do you say me instead of my? The same reason you go, ha. Huh? Because I'm deaf. Oh, you don't go. You can, you can say, beg your pardon. It's what? like people who say Bianca instead of Bianca. But, well, but them... they're two t totally different words. They're not. They're two different pronunciations. Me is the person and my is what is yours. Because it's Aussie slang. Are you telling it's me that slang. you've never met anyone, any other Aussie that says, I'm going to dump in my car? No, we have got to go and jump in the car. Yeah, yeah, that's it's just it. Slang. It's just Most slang. Australians it's speak slang. like Laurie and slang. I do. Oh. Mm. I've never oh. met anyone. Who's Most average Moronic Australians because we're really, speak like Laurie and I. Aussies are usually Laurie really lazy. Well, that's what right? you're trying and we try to and say. And isn't it? We try and shorten everything that's long, and everything that's short, we put no. What do you mean that's what I'm trying to say? I was like, asking something. Witch? I thought you'd be sarcastic. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Would you call her a witch or a bitch? Witch. <laughs> What? I ask you a question. I that, Bridget. Why well, ask you a question? And you go psycho. Because you've asked me that before, and I've told you the answer. No, you before. have not. Well, why don't you say pardon? Why don't you say my? Well, I'm, I well for the same reason you don't say pardon. Because I'm deaf. No. Oh. Jesus Christ. This is an <laughs> argument about nothing. You can't say Jesus Christ, that'll get Travis. Yeah, actually, tears. I think... Well, how about you answer the question, Rory? <laughs> that's 3 nil to Terry. Bridget, she's pumped you three times already. She, yeah, she just got you three times. What does that mean? She won. You lost. Oh, we're having mock lost fights. Lost what? I was asking her a question. Can I have you a You just mock... kept repeating what, what you were saying. She was coming at so you. So did she. Yeah, Martin, you she had Aussie slang and it's just the way we talk. OK. How much more do you want out of it? Nothing! So have you got any other friends that say, I'm going to go and get my shoes on or go and get in my car? Me? Yeah. No? None of your friends say that. No? Well, they must be all stuck up. I don't 
say me, Terry, and I'm not stuck up. I was trying to make a point, Bianca. What kind of point? The same point, <laughs> the same point you were trying to make, that we're illiterate. Well, I don't even know what illiterate means. Oh, come on. Coming up, burning up the dance floor. <laughs> to help save your favourite housemates are 1902 5555 and then for Rory at 66, for Terry at 67, for Travis at 68, or text their name to 191010, for Alice at 72, for Ben at 69, for Bianca at 64. Or text their name to 191010. The long votes cost 55 cents max. 190 votes for mobiles extra. Lines close at 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time tonight. For terms and conditions, go to bigbrother.com.au. Tonight, their housemates will perform their dance routines for Big Brother. After failing last week's task and living on limited food for the week, they're keen to get things right. OK. I'm standing here. OK, well then... Where do you stand? You stand here. Why don't you just stand... No, stand here like this. Yeah, but we've got to practice as if we're on the stage. Huh? We've got to practice as if we're on stage. What's so... the difference of standing this way or that way? OK. No, tell me. I want to know. OK. Well, if we're standing this way... Yeah? ..we turn around and we're facing the audience and then we go this way. Yeah, but if we're standing this way, then we turn around the audience is there. It's the same thing. OK, we'll do it that way then. I just wanted to make but sure I, I got it. I just understand why you don't know that. Because I'm not... Well, you know me, I'm not a dancer, man. But it has nothing I'm, to do with dance. It's like it's simple common knowledge that common whichever no way you start, you still do the same way when you turn around. OK, so we're going to practice it? Oh, God. Yes. Yeah, I'm just going to do my dance about twice and just go back to bed. Yeah. You guys are pretty well nailed. Yeah, we'll see. I don't... Uh, no, but I just want you to tell me why you don't understand that whichever way we stand, it doesn't matter. OK, we're, we're just going to practice it. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to run out of time. And then uh, after, will you tell me why yeah. you don't know that? OK. Are you ready? Wait, wait, stop, stop, stop. Travis, there's no attention span. <laughs> he's interesting to see what he's like at work. He's, he's, he's a PA or whatever, but you know, someone call with a message and they get to pass it on. Maybe he gets on switched on mode at work, who knows with him. Maybe it's just the whole personality in here is fake. Fake. And he's really just has a low voice and is a normal dude. Oh, hi. Okay, well, since we can do it, you do it like your moves still aren't like. You can do the dance all in time, but they're still like. They're not, they're not as point, point. Yeah, they're just like. <laughs> OK, so you want them more pronounced? Yes. OK. <laughs> oh, man. I love your face. Oh. Because of your face, okay? You're really getting annoyed at me, aren't you? Yeah. All right. I don't understand why, though. You're just so irritating. <laughs> I'm just trying to explain to Travis why I'm frustrated. <laughs> Is it working? Uh, That's it's working. why! <laughs> Every time you say something, he's like. <laughs> <laughs> 
I do understand why you're getting frustrated, but I'm just saying that there's stuff that you do sometimes that frustrates me. But then me, tell me! And I don't let it get to me well, as much I'll, as that's you're... That's because you're not a normal person, Kat. <laughs> you're just happy all the time, and I'm not. If something frustrates me, and I get frustrated and angry. Mm. And that's understandable. <laughs> but when, that's understandable. When, we do, when we're about that's to do it, dance... Like, in, I don't feel like you're... Everything you say is just one of your little catchphrases. <laughs> Ricky's <is> <laughs> uh, going off today. Uh, uh, I'm well, sorry, but I'm going to really frustrate me. Our dance. Huh? <laughs> Dixie is having her own frustrations with tonight's dance performance. I hate dancing, it's stupid. Can you just pick up two homies from the street so they can do it for me? Because I don't want to do it. Why is it stupid? Because I dance like a pair of white chicks trying to get s slick in the ghetto and I've got nothing. I'm going to embarrass the whole of Aboriginal Australia and every single dark person across the planet because I don't have groove. I'm going to get burnt at the stake because I ain't got style. It's all about having fun, is it not? Yeah, but I still suck. Anyway, I gotta go, I got washing to do. Thanks for the chat and I'll see you later. Next. Tough talking, Travis. But I'm not just going to take random crap. I'm just getting really yeah, annoyed with Bridget. Travis and Bridget have been struggling to work as a team in the dance task. <laughs> because... She's getting really frustrated with me, and I'm, I'm not a good dancer. But all last week, all this week, I've always stood by her and supported her, you know? That's exactly how I felt last night when she called me a witch. Mm. <laughs> Did she call you a witch? I've been so nice to her, mm. you know, over all through all her dramas, but Travis, and yeah. she called me a witch. I thought, that's it. That's it for me. So what, what did um, Bridge say to you, man? She thinks that she can turn around and just kind of bag me out all week. And so, you know, I'm pretty tolerant. Yeah. I'm, pretty, I'm a pretty, pretty tolerant guy and I'll take, I'll take stuff if I think that she's upset. But I'm not just going to take random crap because she wants to be a, a douchebag. What is it exactly that Travis does that annoys you? Our personalities clash. He's way too... I don't know. He just makes me want to strangle him. He's one of the, the kind of person who I can handle in small doses. Have you spoken to Travis about it? Yes. And what did Travis have to say? I don't know, something like, I just want you to embrace me as a person. He just has phrases that he says. He can't have a conversation. He just, pretty much the only things he can say is, as long as it's okay, as, as long as you're happy with who you are as a person and I like you as a person and let's be positivistic and he's like one of those dolls where you pull the string in the back and you just says one of his stupid lines. Just, uh, honestly, we are British friends in here, like, out of the gills. She's just now dicks. <laughs> no love for Trav, no love for Terry. Hates Renee. Hates Renee, scared of Renee. But she doesn't really have a problem with Alice, I think. Uh, she talks to Alice. Not really. Not really, man. No, what kidding. are they going to talk about? Alice is like, oh, the economical digestive system of the... <laughs> economical digestive system. Of the ecological uh, yeah, expertise of a, of, of, a, of a slimy lizard. And Bridget's like... <laughs> slimy lizard. <laughs> and Bridget's like... What lipstick do you have? <laughs> this is Big Brother. All housemates to the stage. The housemates are frocked up and ready to have a dance for the weekly task. 
and Big Brother has a surprise in store. Housemates, during this week, you have been rehearsing and it is now time to showcase your dance routines. Tonight, you will need to dance like you've never danced before. How well you perform will determine if you pass or fail this week's task. There is a problem, however. Big Brother does not feel adequately qualified to judge this task as he has limited knowledge of the art form. For this reason, Big Brother has acquired some expert help. Turn around and face the plasma. Housemates, please welcome So You Think You Can Dance judges Jason Coleman and Matt Lee. Yeah. Uh, well, guys, firstly, uh, like Adam's been saying all week, it's 10% skill and what? Exactly. What we're looking for is you guys to really have fun, throw yourselves in the deep end and do your best. Okay. When people do good dancing, they make it look easy. What you need to do is you need to let go of yourselves and really, really go for it, yeah? Just have a good time and go for it. Good luck. Chookers. Chookers! <laughs> Housemates, it's time to find out how well can you dance. After the break, time to see if the housemates can dance. Ben and Bianca, it's time to tango. Ben and Bianca, it's time to tango. The dance task is about to start with celebrity So You Think You Can Dance judges Matt and Jason having the ultimate control over the result of this week's task. Ben and Bianca, how are you feeling? Shaky. Yeah, a bit nervous, yeah. A bit nervous? All right, Bianca, I thought you had a lovely characterisation of the fiery tango woman. But Ben, I saw you thinking a little bit. Yeah, and, and we want you to throw yourselves in there, forget about the steps and really just have a great time. But saying that, you were first cabs off the rank. Congratulations, you did a really good job. Thank you. Okay, Bianca, I agree. You really were trying to encompass that whole tango feel, but... Within the tango, you're still allowed to show emotion. To me, you look a little bit stunned. Yeah, just like a little bit stunned. But I agree with Matt. A really good effort for the first ones up. Ben, same deal for you, but you just looked a little bit embarrassed for me. Yeah, maybe you are. Is it the costume, fella? Yeah, man, come on. Like, <laughs> frills aren't my thing, so... You know what? Fair, fair enough, then, with the frills. Let yourselves go, guys. Well done. Good job. Thank you. Alice and Dixie, it is time to take to the stage to perform your hip hop routine. Wait, wait, wait. Good on, hip hop dogs. Yeah, kids. Welcome to the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate. Twice as fast, twice as furious, twice as tough. Alice and Dixie, 
Wow, you really took me to the ghetto, girls. Good job. Um, Alice, the determination in your face made me feel that you really want to win this, don't you? You're all about winning the prize, honey. And Dixie, I felt the funk, baby. I really got in it with you. Both of you did such a great job and you really encapsulated the ghetto hip-hop feel and um, 10 points. Good job. Thank you. Are you single? Am I? Yeah. <laughs> okay, ladies, back to the dancing. Uh, Alice, I agree with Matt. You adopted and adapted that genre perfectly. You really, really went for it. That's what we're looking for here, <laughs> that real getting into it. Dixie, you did the same thing. I could see you going for it, but the big rule in our world, you danced at the floor. You were looking at the floor. The audience is up in front of you. You need to lift your eyes up and look at the audience. These are the small criticisms within because <laughs> the coffee grinders were fantastic. <laughs> the worm ladies I didn't think you were gonna get that worm I watched you rehearsing this during the week I thought I thought that's a little bit hard to do for you guys you did it well well done good job thank you yeah. Nathan and Renee it's time to take to the stage to perform the waltz Renee, let's talk about your transformation, hun. A chick that works in the abattoir is now in a waltz dress and a pair of heels, so I commend you on that to start with. You look gorgeous. Nathan, a great partner. The lifts were really fantastic. We didn't see any transitions in or out. Great job. The one thing I do have to say, Renee, is you're a giggling little schoolgirl. Yeah, I haven't seen the two of you look at each other yet without giggling. I think I know how to solve it. You need to take five minutes into the bedroom, get it sorted, and come back out. Good job. Okay, I think this is a family show, Matt. <laughs> yes? Yes, yes. Okay, guys, well done. That was a pretty good effort there, I thought. Uh, you know, I agree with Matt and Renee. It's really nice to watch that transformation, to see you get up there. You look just beautiful, darling. You look totally pretty, but you're about as graceful as a double full forward for me. <laughs> I just wasn't feeling it, no. Quite seriously, I'm just having a bit of fun. No, really, I thought you did a good job. The little Grand Jedi on Tanon, which is the little lift where you came up with your leg overside, that was very cute and the most graceful moment for you. Nathan, you're a good partner. You're a good natural partner. Part of being a good male partner is looking like you're caring for the girl. It's keeping your eye on her while you're dancing and making sure everything's okay for her. A good male partner always puts the girl first and I felt that you were doing that. But there's a lack of eye connection between you guys. I agree with Matt. You need to just get a room and get it over with. David and Terry. It's time to take to the stage to perform the German slap dance. Pumped up, Tezza? Yep. Okay, the one thing we always talk about in dance is the joy. We need to see the joy, and you two certainly had the joy. It was so much fun. We really felt it all the way out here. Um, David, I really felt you became the character. You were really in the German slap mode. You really, it was coming through on your face. It was fantastic. Terry, a great partnership. I want to talk to you. How did, how's your week been? How, how did you feel when you were first partnered together? Oh, it was, it's a strange couple, but um, we're definitely the glamour couple of the competition, and we're here to take the prize. Terry and I. 
years older. Gonna hit the stones later. He's my great son. Great job. your son, right? Great job. I thought you did a really fantastic job. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, that was for me. I agree with Matt. That was everything it should have been. What we're supposed to do here when we're dancing is to entertain people, and to entertain people, you have to be enjoying what you're doing. I felt that was light. It was fun, entertaining, well rehearsed, and really, really well sold. A really good example of what Adam Williams would say is 10% technique and 90% personality. <laughs> Let me tell you one more thing. We've got a big audience behind us here, and due to the reaction, I think you guys might be the favourites so far. What do you think, folks? Coming up, Disco Fever versus the new boys on the block. and Travis. It is time to take to the stage to perform Disco. <laughs> okay. Oh, let's go, go Bridge. Go, oh, 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 this is going to be great. Let me just say that was a very, very posimistic performance from both of you. The one thing we talked about is you have to throw yourselves in 100%. And although the steps might not have been accurate, the steps might not have been perfect, you guys threw yourselves in 200%. Travis, you were having a ball, man. I could have seen you on a dance floor in the 70s in that outfit. And I, and I hear that you love the shoes, mate. I do love the shoes. I'm so wearing these shoes to work. You are? I'm wearing these shoes to work, my friend. And Bridget, how are you feeling? You got some clothes on. You got, you got some clothes back. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get to keep them. <laughs> how are you feeling? So, did you think you did a good performance? Well, we did really well. Yeah, I, think we did. I agree, I think you did a great performance. Congratulations. <laughs> Guys, you know, I've been watching you rehearse during the week. Oh, no. And um, <laughs> that was better than I'd expected. You've actually really come up on the day, you know, and that's what it's about. It's about ramping up during the rehearsals. It's about getting the performance right. So good job there. Let yourself go, Bridget. Let yourself go, These yeah? Shoes yeah. Shoes are tall. What's that, an excuse? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you've been complaining for two weeks that you haven't had any shoes. Don't, don't complain that you've now got some. I don't think that no matter how smiley I was, there's no way I could be as smiley as Travis. You know, I have to say, darling, <laughs> that watching the rehearsals, you've been really pushing Travis along, but he left you for dead then in performance skill because <laughs> he let go. Travis completely let go and he absolutely went for it. That's what we're looking for in our dancers. We're looking for them to be not conscious of themselves, to give themselves completely into the choreography. Well done, both of you. Good job. Nobby and Rory, it is time to take to the stage to perform your boy band routine. <laughs> Wow, wow. Well, you certainly got the girls in the house screaming and the girls out here screaming, so, you know, you achieved. Um, Nobby, man, you're born to being a boy band, mate. I think you're Mr. Calling. 
<laughs> is that a compliment or not? No, you had the moves down pat. People in boy bands, dude, they make a lot of money. Thanks. Um, Rory, you were just a little bit ahead of the beat. You had a little bit of a terrified look on your face. <laughs> Mate, look what I'm wearing, all right? <laughs> well, you could have been put in Travis's uh, jumpsuit, so, you yeah, know, I think so you scored a little bit there. On, Overall, you both did a great job. Nobby, you outdance Rory. <laughs> Okay, boys, we say to our dancers all the time on our show, you have to own what you're doing, yeah? You have to own it. Nobby, you went out, you went shopping, you looked for it, you tried it on, you got out your credit card, you bought it, and you totally own it now. You, like, totally own that. It was a really, really, really good job. Thank you. You know Thank what? You the difference between a good dancer and a bad dancer is a really good dancer loves what they're doing, and you're having fun there, aren't you, fella? Yeah, I'm having a great time. I could tell. It really, really came across in the performance. Rory, you're not so natural, but you're also were really, really great. Yeah, like uh, Nobby's a natural mover. You're not so natural, but I saw you, you, you sort of went for it, you know? You, you gave it a good go. Loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. Loved it. Thank you. <laughs> All of the housemates, take your positions on stage. We've got food riding on this, guys. Oh, I'd hey. stuff it. No, it's... Oh, where are that, guys? No. Good job, no. Guys. You're so funny, Nobby. Housemates, <laughs> tonight you performed your routines for Big Brother and the judges. Housemates, it's the moment of truth. Come on, Bruno. Jason, Matt, Come on, guys. have the housemates passed or failed their task? I'm this is the part of the job that's not so nice because Big Brother, when we came here, told us, Matt and I, that we're not to drop our world standard in regards to professional dancers. Now, you guys have been rehearsing this all week. You are locked in a house with dedicated rehearsal time, but you've got another 23 hours a day with nothing to do. You really had many, many, many hours to get this very, very, very right. Complacency in the dance world gets you absolutely nowhere. You try to rehearse your notes and baked beans. In regards to our world-class standard and what you performed for us this evening, I have to tell you, congratulations, you passed. muscle. Coming up, it's a double live eviction. Which two of your favourites will be out? Want more Big Brother? You can watch 24-7 on bigbrother.com.au or on your 3Mobile.